Hi, it's Dolls Toys and Games Gal. I thought it would be fun to buy as many Barbie wedding gowns as I could find on Amazon. And here they all are. Here's a bridal gown fashion pack from Mattel and some other dresses whose brands I don't recognize. And it looks like there's one I haven't even opened. And now I've opened it. Turned out to be this veil and this dress with many, many frilly layers. So what do we do with this pile of wedding gowns? We try them on our dolls, of course, but have you met me? We first have to set up and create a doll bridal salon for them. So I dug around in my basement and found things that I didn't even know that I had, like this wedding-themed scrapbook paper collection, this wooden plaque by Art Minds, this clothing rack that was made for me by Modage Interiors, this tree-shaped decor that I had bought on Etsy. I think they intended it for a children's room. These are mirrored sheets with sticker backing that can serve as a mirror. These flower bouquets are from the same brand, Ideaology, and they are perfect for a doll bridal salon diorama, don't you think? Also from Ideaology, a packet of white frames. These say wedding to me. And finally, a package of doll clothing hangers so we can hang those wedding dresses up. Let's set up our doll bridal salon diorama. For the floor, I covered a piece of cardboard with wood grain paper. I'm using for the backdrop a trifold white poster board with two green poster boards to serve as green screens for when I take pictures, which I'll show you guys at the end of the video. First, I made a mirror using the wooden tree decor, the frame, the mirrored sheets, and some dried hydrangeas I had on my fireplace. Next, I set down a piece of fur for a rug. These are some decor elements I made with the wedding scrapbook paper and the frames. Here's a couch I made for Holly and Poppy's tower hair salon. Here's where we'll hang the wedding gowns. This is a heart-shaped table from a La Di Da dolls playset, perfect for a bridal salon. And I filled a miniature bottle with moss and the bouquets to make a vase. Oh, and this pin cushion can serve as an ottoman or footstool. Ta-da! Now let's hang up the dresses. Voila, there's our doll bridal salon. Let's try the Barbie bridal fashion pack on first. This is my latest Barbie fashionista. And ta-da, she's wearing the official Mattel fashion pack. However, she is a little too skinny for this dress. There's a lot of extra room at the waist. I think this dress will go better on a curvy doll, like this one. This is the Tokyo Olympics 2020 skateboarder doll. And lo and behold, she looks perfect in this wedding dress. It fits her really nicely. This is a T-length dress, so it doesn't go to the floor. And I think it would be nice for a less formal wedding. Next, let's try on this fancy gown. Because it looks long, I'm going to use a tall Barbie. This one is a BMR 1959 Barbie that you might recognize from my Pride, Prejudice, and Plum Wine series. This dress looks to be a sheath dress that has two large pieces of tulle attached to each side of the waist. And ta-da, here she is looking stunning in this dress. I like how full this wedding gown is as well as how it's speckled with silver. So it makes it unique. Now let's try on this frilly gown by Barwa, the one that was in the unopened teddy bear package. Woo, she looks so sweet. It's another strapless gown. This one has multiple layers of frills and the skirt is actually so full that the Barbie is able to stand up by herself with no doll stand. Here's a look from the back. This is actually a dress from a pack of multiple items, including bridesmaids dresses and also bridegroom suits. Ooh, I like how that looks on her. I like the clean lines of this dress. It's very simple. Well, maybe I was supposed to make that top part off the shoulder like it was in the advertisement. I like how the veil just has no attachment, just hangs over her head. And here's a look from behind. Dress is very rigid. Again, she can stand by herself. 
How about we try this gown on? This is from E Ting. The brand is E Ting. I like how this one has a halter top, so it's not the same strapless gown as the others. And I like the gold sequins sewn in. Giving you a look at the back, it's got a nice long train. And again, doll can stand up by herself, no stand. Okay, last one. This one's another strapless gown with lots of lace in the skirt. This dress gives off a nice romantic vibe with all of that lace. I like the bodice stitching over the top of her bodice and the veil is very long. You can see that the lace goes all the way to the floor. And if we move the veil, we can give you a look at the back of the dress. It's interesting how these dresses are all so full. The dolls can stand up by themselves with no stand required. Okay, now that we have all the Barbie wedding gowns on, let's take one last look at them all together. Comment down below and tell me which Barbie wedding gown is your favorite. I actually don't know if I can decide since I like them all so much. Okay, it's now time to take some pictures. Remember those green screens? Well, I can substitute this panel of roses for the background. The nice thing about a green screen is that you can replace it using iMovie with any picture you want. And so I chose this flower panel because it's very romantic and has a bridal salon vibe. And there are all our brides. Hope nobody is a bridezilla. Hope everyone has a great wedding. And I hope you all like this video and that you'll like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.